So I've been pretty excited about this since it was announced. Maybe a few weeks ago, I got an email from the fine folks at Toontrack announcing that during September, they were going to have a lot of exciting new releases. And the one that really caught my eye was the one that just came out today. And that is a new SDX for the amazing Superior Drummer 3 platform. And this is the Hitmaker SDX that was done in conjunction with one of my favorite producer engineers, Hugh Padgham, who did a lot of my favorite records from the 1980s. So without further ado, let's check out what is in this particular SDX. Then we'll take a listen to it and I'm going to let you hear it. Kind of replacing the drums I originally had in one of the productions that I worked on recently. So first things first, over to the Toontrack website. Here we have a fine looking picture of Mr. Hugh Padgham. And here is the new Hitmakers SDX. Drums by Hugh Padgham. The next milestone of Superior Drummer 3 Universe of Sound has arrived. Amazing. So here we have it. It's $179 US as are most of the SDXs. As we go down and see what we have here, it says we have six acoustic drum kits and upwards of 400 classic drum machine sounds. So there's there's two parts to this. There's the normal Hitmaker SDX, but there's, there's also Hitmaker machines, which we'll take a quick look at today as well. Recorded to analog tape, making use of four legendary vintage consoles, extra selections of acoustic kick, snares, and cymbals. Recorded by four-time Grammy Award winning producer, mixer, engineer Hugh Padgham, who's worked with Phil Collins, Genesis, Sting, and The Police. Uh, I love Hugh's discography, and I think they have a little selected discography. Down here, we have six kits and 11 machines, more than 400 electronic sounds. Just skimming over this really quickly. The electronic portion of it containing a lot of the really cool drum machines of the 80s, Rollins, TR Series, Simmons, Oberheim, Lynn, a lot of real classic sounds of the 80s. The acoustic part is made up of six complete kits, of which four were directly modeled after the sound and drummers on some of Hughes' most iconic productions, Vinnie Colliotto, Manu Cache, Stuart Copeland, and of course, Phil Collins. Some of my favorite drummers, Vinnie Colliotto's work on the Sting 10 Summoner's Tales album, uh, which Hugh was a part of, is just spectacular. Manu Cache has got to be one of my favorite drummers, Stuart Copeland. I mean, all of this just goes without saying, these are some of the most classic sounds around. As we scroll down here, here is a selected discography from Mr. Padgham, Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins, a bunch of police albums. And as I mentioned, these Sting albums, Nothing Like the Sun, The Soul Cages, Ten Summoners Tale, Ten Summoners Tales, Mercury Falling, all real big favorites of mine, Synchronicity by the Police, Genesis, Genesis, amazing, amazing stuff. So the studio they worked in uh, seems to be British Grove Studios. A lot of very big artists have worked there. It says in addition to owner Mark Knopfler's own projects, Nick Cave, U2, Roger Waters, Sting, Razor Light, Kaiser Chiefs among the artists who have recorded here. So amazing studio, beautiful aerial photograph of the studio here. So the kits, here we have the center stage kit, the premier elite concert. This is a kit inspired by Phil Collins setup. Then we move on to the New World kit, which is a Yamaha 8000 Tour Custom inspired by Manu Cache. As we move on, we have the Red Hot Session kit, which is a Yamaha 9000 recording custom kit. We have a Red Hot Concert kit, another Yamaha 9000 recording custom concert. We have the Storyteller kit, which is a Yamaha 11000 Maple Custom inspired by Vinnie Colliotto's setup on Sting's Ten Summoners Tales and Mercury Falling album. And we have a Reggae Rock kit, which is a Tama Imperial Star inspired by some of the police recordings. So amazing stuff, really incredible. They go into great detail here with videos and setups on how this was all made, but we all want to hear what this sounds like. So here we are over at the Hitmaker SDX within Superior Drummer 3. If we go up here, we can see we have Hitmaker and Hitmaker Machines. If I switch over to the Hitmaker Machines, you will see that it gives us an electronic drum kit and gives us a selection of all of these kits, which we will try to take a look at later in this video. Moving back over to Hitmaker though, takes a second to load up, we see that we have these kits that we have already mentioned. So I have a little piece of music here that I recently completed as a demo for one of my Line 6 Marketplace presets. And it sounds a little something like this. Now what you're hearing for bass here is the 80s uh, e Easy Bass EBX that I did a video about last week. I'm really loving that, so I thought I would keep that on here. And actually we're hearing just the default I believe it is center stage kit from the new hit maker from Q Padgham.
already really nice. I didn't use that to write this or compose this piece of music, but let's solo these drums out and see if we can't listen to what some of these sound like. So let's go through this, the default kits first, and then maybe we will take a listen to how they sound with some of the presets that come with this that Hugh himself made. Moving on to the New World kit. Moving on to the Red Hot Session kit. Moving on to the Red Hot Concert Kit. Moving on to the Storyteller Kit. And lastly, moving on to the Reggae Rock Kit. Now keep in mind that what you're hearing there are just the default drum and mixer presets. Uh, this also comes with, as you see, and it's gonna be a little off screen, let me just move this over here. We have a whole bunch of Hugh Padgham presets that we can pick for each of these different drum kits. Tune Track also gives us a lot. We're not gonna be able to go through all of these in this video, just make too long to, to give examples of all of these. And then just basic clean kits as well. So no end of just amazing presets to get us started almost immediately without having to tweak a lot. And what I find myself doing a lot of times is I'll start with one of these presets, I'll listen to it in the context of the piece of music I'm using, and I'll make the tiniest little tweaks and I usually don't have to do too much to them. Maybe I'll take a little bit of bottom out of the kick, maybe if I find find it a little too heavy with other SDXs. I haven't tried these in a mix yet, so these may work beautifully, but I find that they usually are great starting points. Now also, as usual, along with the SDX comes a beautiful groove library. So if we notice here, as soon as we install this, we can come up here and say Hitmaker under our grooves tab here in our list. And it gives us all of these different possibilities for the different kits we have. So we can choose to, to go, you know, center stage kit, which is not the one I'm on right now, but straight four, four time, we pick a song. They give us different variations of these grooves. You can go to a pre-chorus version. The ride comes in. So some great grooves here that could act as great starting points for compositions or pieces of music we could be working on. So we can see how these are obviously inspired by some Stuart Copeland drum parts and police songs, Every King's Breath, Finger Rap, Synchronous, probably from Synchronicity. You could also preview them in the original tempo, which makes a little more sense. It's gonna be very useful stuff for composing and coming up with some 
some possibly inspiring some new musical ideas. Every breath you take type of a vibe to it. So very cool stuff. Lots of great drum grooves there. Now, moving over to the Hitmaker Machines, just to give this a quick little look, you'll see here... We have a lot of electronic sounds available here. We can come into the different kits. And they also have grooves that were based around these. So I'm not gonna base this particular video too much around the Hitmaker machines. I'm a little more interested right now in just the actual Hitmaker drum kit. So we'll go back to this. So amazing amount of grooves we have there. Now, how do some of these particular presets sound in an actual production? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up some of the Hue Pageum presets that we have. So this is on our center stage kit, the Hue Pageum Dry preset. And I'm gonna see how that works with my track here in conjunction with the entire rhythm section and all the guitars. made any changes to the mixer settings but you can always do that you could come in here and if you found that you know your snare bottom you didn't want in there you can mute that out or add more or less of anything Moving on to the New World Kit and Hughes Basic preset. Let's see how this sounds. Moving on to the Red Hot Session Kit with Hughes Compressed Room Preset. Moving on to the Red Hot Concert Kit and Hughes Dry Preset.
Moving on to the Storyteller drum kit with Hughes Reverb preset. And finally, onto the reggae rock kit using Hughes' basic alt preset. So there you have an overview of how some of these presets work in a mix. Now, keep in mind, I literally just picked a preset for that drum kit, loaded it up, pressed play. This particular piece of music was not mixed to work with these. I didn't change any levels or anything. These just kind of fell in here and sounded as they did. Would I make little tweaks if I was doing a final mix? 100% I would. But to show how great a starting point these presets can be, I think this really shows that they can get us up and running very quickly with minimal effort. I am really impressed with the sound of these drums. So there you have a quick overview of this, what I think is an absolutely amazing addition to the lineup for Superior Drummer 3. This one is the one I've been most excited about uh, in comparison to any other SDX that's ever been released. This kind of hit the sweet spot for me. And I think the biggest problem I'm going to have is that I, number one, may not be using some of my other SDXs as much because this is right in my wheelhouse. And I think the other big problem I'm going to have is choosing which one of the kits from this particular SDX that I'm going to actually use. I heard a lot of really great things as I was reviewing it here with this piece of music. And especially having these to start a production with, kind of working the production around them, I think is going to be an amazing thing too. I'm really, really loving the sounds here. And again, my hats off to the fine folks at Track and Mr. Hugh Padgham, not only for all your amazing work in the past and all the amazing music productions you've helped give us, but also for this incredible addition that we can add to our Superior Drummer 3 libraries and utilize these amazing tones ourselves. So I hope that that was a good overview. I, I know it's tough to cover all the features in these reviews or else we'd be here for two or three hours and nobody needs to see that or listen to me talk for that amount of time. So I hope that that was as concise an overview I could give while still giving you a sense of what this SDX is all about. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody who you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell notification to get notified when 
I put new content out. If you guys like what you heard, head over to the Tune Track website. Again, I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I purchased this this morning with my own money, as I do with all the Tune Track products, just because I love them so much. But definitely go support them so they can put those resources back into giving us more great tools that we can use for our music production. Thank you guys again so much. I'll be back really soon with some more. Ciao for now.